Topic A, Experiment 3, Rotating Bending Fatigue Test. For this experiment, our objective is perform a rotating bending fatigue cycle test and obviously interpret the data. Once we have observed and compared the results of the experiment, you will be capable to understand the SN behavior of the materials under cyclic loads. What is the SN graphic? Don't worry, we will comment in a while. On the other hand, you will recognize and identify the characteristic mark of the fracture surface due to fatigue failure. Background When a material is subject to cyclic loading, it can fail at the stresses well below the material's ultimate strength. This is known as a fatigue failure and accounts for the vast majority of the mechanical engineering's failure worldwide. Fatigue failure occurs due to the deformation and propagation of cracks. There are a little small cracks and the propagation is really important. It, uh, those cracks usually occur at free surface and at stress concentration. The number of cycles of a material can endure is highly dependent on the amplitude of the stress cycle. In this figure, we can observe how the amplitude of stress is represented as the highest stress value of the sign cycle. This is an SN chart and it is the relationship between the stress amplitude and the number of cycles to failure. This SN chart is a specific example for the 2014 T6 aluminum and 2045 steel. On the y-axis is shown the stress and on the x-axis the number of cycles to failure are represented. The number of cycles can be large. Then a logarithmic scale is usually used on the x-axis. The number of cycles to failure can be calculated using the SN charge for a given stress. For example, if a 2014 T6 aluminum member has stress amplitude of 200 megapascals, it will take about uh, 1 million of cycles of load to break. For some ferrous materials, when the stress amplitude is below a certain level, those materials can almost endure infinite number of cycles. This is known as a fatigue limit. Bending rotating fatigue test. The bending rotating fatigue test apparatus is one of the commonly used for fatigue testing. Our sample bar has a narrow neck region and middle bar. This neck helps to localize the region of failure and to increase the amplitude of the stresses. To perform the test, the sample is placed through multiple bearing and force is applied via a bending moment using weights hung of the sample. A DC motor with a flexible joint can rotate the sample bar at 5,000 to 10,000 revolutions per minute. The hinge bearing allows the sample bar to deflect with no additional moment reactions as the fixed bearing can keep the load forces from the weight pointing a consistent direction during the bar rotation. The evolution counter at the end of the sample bar records the number of bar rotation during the test. Finally, a fuse link between the DC motor and the power supply provides a safety function which will break when the sample fails. In this test, the loading configuration of the sample bar is simplified as a simple supported beam with two points load at the distance of A to the support. It makes the bending moment reach its maximum at the neck region at the middle, which can be calculated as the next equation. Moment it's equal to the force times the distance A over 2, where F is my load and A is the distance of the point load to the support. The bending moment causes the maximum tensile stress at the bottom and the maximum compressive stress at the top. The amplitude of the stress can be calculated as stress is equal to the maximum moment times D over 2I where D is the diameter of the neck region and I is the moment of inertia of the neck region. And remember that the inertia is easy to calculate in this case, or formula is equal inertia equal to pi times square D over 64. When the bar rotates during the test, a region of material keeps changing its relative location to the neutral axis. 
that makes the stress condition keep switching between the tension and compression with a cycle stress profile over time similar to a sine wave. Fatigue failure. Fatigue is a process of progressive localized permanent structural change. It occurs in a material subjected to conditions that produce fluctuating stresses or strains at some point. Fatigue failure process can be divided into three parts. Crack initiation, stable progressive crack propagation, and final fracture. About crack initiation usually occurs at materials and geometric heterogeneities, including inclusion of second phases of particles, voids, notches, or other geometric variations. About the stable progressive crack propagation, it increases the regions of cracks after each load cycle. The fatigue crack propagation regions are the most important for identifying the more or type of failures, which may be characterized by two types of markings termed beach marks and striations. Both features indicate the position of the crack tip at some point in time. They appear as a concentric ridges that expand away from the crack initiation site, frequently in a circular or semicircular pattern. Each mark are of macroscopic dimensions and may be observed with the united eye. Now, fatigue striations are microscopic in size and subject to observation with the electron microscope. Experiment steps and procedures. Receive four bar samples and measure the dimension of the cross section of the neck region. Remember to record data. The next step is perform a three point bending test on one bar sample and measure the bending strength. Fill out the corresponding information. Step number three perform rotating bending fatigue test. Measure the point load distance to the support and adjust the weight load and use equation 2 and 3 to calculate the stress amplitude. Record the number of cycles to the failure. Examine the fracture surface of the fatigue test sample after failure. Take pictures and label the characteristic features and marks.